Hey, what's up everyone? It is uh, Transformer Con Day. I got a pretty good amount of sleep last night. I'm still a little tired. I think I slept for about five hours. Uh, but this today is going to be a lot of fun. Um, and it's going to be very exhausting for me uh, physically and health wise. But I'm willing to, to put it to the test because I love Transformers and I was really bummed, you know, to basically admit to myself that I probably can't do WonderCon this year with my health and everything so I went ahead and just told you know work that you know I was gonna ask for those days off or one of those days off and I decided not to um, so I figured I'll do a smaller convention and when TFCon popped up I was like alright I haven't been to TFCon I went to BotCon uh, years back but I've, I've not been to a TFCon so I figured we'll check that out uh, I'm gonna head over to Burbank and uh, and get there it's over by the the um, airport over there in Burbank, uh, which is a really cool airport. I like flying out of there. That's the airport I flew out of when I went and met, uh, you know, Capcom with the Resident Evil 7 stuff when I played the, the Lantern demo and stuff. So, uh, so yeah, so I, I'm, I like that area. I'm definitely looking forward to heading over there and uh, being part of this convention and seeing what it's like. So it starts in about, I think the doors open in about 15 minutes, but I want to get some breakfast and I want to stop at the ATM so I have enough money to like get through the day. Uh, I'm not going to go too crazy on money since I bought those Lego sets, so I'm probably just going to bring like a hundred bucks with me and uh, hopefully I'll find some cool stuff and I'll videotape it and hopefully you guys enjoy. So uh, stay tuned. Right now we got to transform and roll out. <laughs>
Okay, I am back at home and I am very tired. Unfortunately, uh, I left the convention pretty early, came home, took like a quick nap, and uh, and then had to go to work. And uh, I kind of dragged, you know, as far as like well, work went by pretty quickly, but my energy level, I was just sinking as the day progressed. Uh, even when I got like a lunch, I pretty much just went and sat in the back, worked on the computer a little bit, and kind of closed my eyes for 10 minutes. So uh, yeah, needless to say, it was a very exhausting day. Uh, being in crowds like that can take it out of me, and it wasn't a big convention, so the more people that kept coming in, you know, the, the more I was feeling it, uh, for sure. But it was an awesome convention. Everyone I ran into was really great. The first person I bought something from was a guy named Michael. He just saw me standing there staring at this uh, this toy, and he was just like, hey man, what's up? He's like, uh, do you want to see what this thing looks like? Because I was just staring at the box. And I was like, uh, sure, do you have one around? He's like, yeah, follow me. And he showed me the case and it was a perfect salesman stuff. But uh, even he, though he was like, hey, man, I'm not really here to sell. I'm just, if, if you're interested, I'm just here to like facilitate that. And uh, so I wanted to show you the statue, you know, and that you were looking at. And I was like, yeah, cool, no problem. And seemed like a really nice guy. And then even when I bought the thing that, you know, like I was talking to him about, um, I was like, I was having second I was having, you know, buyer's remorse. It wasn't because I didn't want that one, but there was two models of this Optimus Prime, um, like, model kit. And uh, there was an IDW version, which I really wanted, and then there was the attack mode version, which I liked, but I didn't like as much as the IDW version. And I bought the attack mode because that was the one that was built in a case, and I was like, you know what? It actually does look pretty cool. I'll pick it up. Um, but then when I realized that uh, I, later on I wanted the IDW one, I was like, oh, I hope that guy will let me switch. I'm starting to feel, you know, a little bit of buyer's remorse, and I, I hope that's okay. I know all sales are final and everything. So I went and waited for him. He was helping a few customers. And uh, and then when I finally got to him, I was like, hey, Michael, do you think I could switch? He's like, no problem, dude. And he goes down, goes to grab the attack one or the IDW one, and then I reach in my bag and I, cause I never saw it. Like I, he picked it up, he put it in a bag, he gave it to me or gave, put it in my bag and I walked away with it. I never looked at it again. And it turns out he accidentally earlier gave me the IDW one, even though I asked for the attack mode one. Uh, so it worked out anyway. He's like, Oh, we don't have to switch at all. Like you, you already have the one you're looking for. I was like, Oh, it's such an idiot. I should have just looked in the bag. Um, so yes, yeah, so, but I kept thinking I had the attack mode. So the reason I didn't want the attack mode was cause I went over to the uh, flame toys booth and they were demonstrating, you know, all the model kits. And so I know some people are gonna be like, dude, you went to a transformer convention and bought models. But the thing is, I have a ton of transformers and I kind of, um, you know, keep them all preserved. They're all in my closet now. I like lined them all up, put them in these bins, uh, try to keep them all safe and protected because I used to have them all displayed out. And lately I've been, you know, boxing them back up. And, um, and so I was like, yeah, I don't want any more like figures, like uh, Transformer toy figures right now. I want something different. So I build Gundams. I used to love to do that all the time, but I haven't built one in a while. But I did build an Optimus Prime like model that was like this big. And it was from one of the Transformer movies. And it was, it took me like two weeks to build it. And I was like, you know, I want something like that, but just less intense. So what I ended up getting was the Transformers model kit IDW version. Um, and yeah, sorry, there's a reflection on, of me um, in my own box. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. Uh, this thing came out really great. And actually, I'll try to take the uh, take the plastic wrap off so that way uh, we can not get the glare on here. But I'm probably going to keep these in the box for the time being because I don't want to build them just now. Like, I want to, you know, save them, wait. Maybe, you know, if I get another place at some point, like in a year or so, maybe I'll build them then. But I don't want to, I don't want to build them up now because moving with that Optimus Prime model kit was really hard. Uh, I didn't want to damage it. But so yeah, there you go. Optimus Prime IDW. And like I said, it's a model. So you actually build it, it comes in these sheets and uh, he can pose. I think he has 40 points of articulation. And uh, yeah, I've been wanting one of these for a while and I didn't know they were gonna do a whole series of them. So I picked up Optimus. Um, and then after I went and did that, I picked up my Transformer Con t-shirt, PF Con 2019. Um, which was, it's okay. I would have liked a little design on it, but maybe for copyright reasons, they could only put the name of the convention. Um, but then I ran into an artist who works on the new Transformer comic. He worked on some other ones. He was a colorist, and he did this great drawing of the Lost Supper, <laughs> which is obviously a reference to uh, Jesus and the Last Supper, uh, but this is really great. It's got a great list of characters, and if you've been reading the comics, this is kind of a, a neat little thing he did with a little, some Easter eggs in here. 
And so uh, when I saw this, I was like, okay, I gotta buy it. It was 20 bucks. I wanted to support at least one artist there. I wish I had more money to do more, um, but I wanted to give this guy some love and he was awesome. And I am so, I'm so kicking myself because I forgot to get a business card. I forgot his name, uh, but I will try to uh, find out. And in a future Transformer episode where I talk about the comics or something, uh, I will mention him for sure. Uh, but then I went over to the Flame Toys booth. The lady gave me a demonstration there. I really liked what I saw. And then there was a, a young man who was building um, one of the gun, like one of the Gundam, like model kit, uh, transformers. And I was blown away. I was like, okay, I gotta, I gotta pick one up. Gotta get another one. And I saw that there was four in the series. There was, um, transformers, IDW Optimus Prime. There was the attack mode Optimus Prime. And then they did a repaint of the attack mode or a different color scheme, which was Nemesis Prime. And this one was an event exclusive. I don't know if it means this event or if they just bring this only two events, you know, maybe it's not just TF Con, maybe it's other cons, um, but yeah, this is uh, Nemesis Prime, so that's Evil Optimus Prime, and he had the same body mold of the other Optimus that I didn't get, and that's where my buyer's remorse came in. I saw this one, I go, ooh, I should go back, get the IDW one, switch out, and then get this version of the attack mode, so that way I can technically build both Optimuses, but at least this is a different character. And so, yeah, and again, the plastic on this one, I'm not, you know, it's, it's messing up the autofocus and stuff, so I'm sorry. Um, I'm not going to do the, uh, take the package off, because it has that event exclusive sticker, and that's on the, um, uh, oh, wait, no, it's on the inside. All right, let's do it. Let's cut this thing off. <laughs> uh, I should have checked beforehand. But, um, yeah, so this was kind of like the extent of my day. I mean, I also ran into my friend Jamie, uh, for you guys who follow me on uh, on Instagram, Saul, uh, and on Twitter, I posted a picture of my friend Jamie who uh, used to work on the Transformers Machinima cartoons, uh, the Combiner Wars and things like that, and I really liked those a lot. You probably saw when I did Transformers in my car, I kind of used some of the uh, clips for my intro. Um, you know, Jamie I've known for about 15 years. I used to PA and coordinate with him in Orlando, Florida, and he moved out here a couple years back working at Machinima, and now works at DC Comics, uh, which is just awesome. And I know it was a dream job of his, so uh, working on both of those, Transformers and DC. So uh, so it was cool to run into him there, and we got to walk around together, could hang out with him, his daughter. We were having fun talking about comics and to, you know Transformers and everything, and it was just a blast. And I ran into my friend Jake, who I haven't seen in a long time, because after I deleted Facebook, I lost touch with a lot of people. So it was great to see him and reconnect, you know, exchange phone numbers. Um, and then I ran into Brandon Eastman, uh, uh, who, or Easton, who's one of the new writers of the upcoming Netflix Transformers cartoon. So it was great running into him, running into all those people and uh, and some cosplayers. I mean, it was, I think Arizona Autobots was the girl I ran into. She's from that group. She had an awesome costume on of Prowl, I believe, and uh, she looked great. So it was really cool. I had a blast. Um, and then we have here Nemesis Prime, uh, the attack mode. So this model version, this is what the other Optimus looked like. He had like pointy shoulders and uh, uh, like a jet propulsion unit on his shoulders uh but yeah nemesis prime and then the last but not least i said hey uh, you know do you have any more of these model kits and they were like yeah we have uh you know the other optimus and we have one other character and i'm like okay cool i don't want to buy the other optimus i have them now in nemesis prime form i said so can you show me who the other character is and they're like yeah and they pulled out uh this character here who i really like uh which is starscream so now I have a Starscream model, and that's it. I think they said the next two coming out are Bumblebee and uh, Megatron. And Megatron is first. I think they were taking pre-orders for Megatron there. And then, boom, I have Starscream. So in future episodes, maybe down the line, I don't know how long it'll take me to get to these to build them. Um, but I plan on building all three of these and, and having them up uh, and keeping them in the background. Because I love you know Gundam kits I love model kits uh, these ones are pretty easy just cut them out and snap them together so they're pretty um, entry level stuff uh, but I still get a kick out of them I do like recoloring some and putting details in and getting the, the Gundam pens and you know and, and drawing details on them I do definitely go that far and I primer them and repaint them uh, but these ones I'll probably keep as is because they're in the colors that they're supposed to be in for um, you know for these model designs uh, but I might touch them up a little bit but again if we make videos on them it'll be probably well down the line. I'm going to try to keep them in their boxes for now. Um, but yeah, I had a blast. Today was fun. Every Transformer fan I met there and talked to was great. People who worked there, people who didn't. 
Uh, everyone was really nice and really laid back, and uh, that's what I love about Transformers. Is uh, I I rarely see like a really angry side of the fandom. I know there is, and it exists like with all fandoms, but at least with Transformers and things like uh, you know even Venom, like I didn't run across a ton of that, and I'm very lucky because those are two of my favorite fandoms to be a part of, and so it's great to finally make another Transformer video for you guys and go to outside and go do an event and stuff. And I want to thank TFCon for hosting this thing for you know letting everyone go there and have fun and meeting new friends it was a really good time and uh and yeah and i'm as you can tell i'm i'm wearing you know worn out now um on my way out of the convention after i said goodbye to jamie i saw optibotamus who's another youtuber who does a lot of uh, transformer reviews really nice guy um and then john bailey was a voice of um optimus on the combiner war season one but then he was also um uh, the voice of Soundwave in the new Bumblebee movie. And I tried to go back because I met him earlier through Jamie and I wanted to go back and get him to do like a voice thing, like an intro for the show. Uh, but he was already gone at a panel, unfortunately, so I couldn't get him. Um, and then I saw Flint Dilly, uh, who wrote a lot of the, you know, older cartoons um, in the, you know, Generation One. And he wrote the movie. He was one of the writers on the movie. And he wrote a series of books called Primacy. Um, it was like, uh, um, uh, it was Autocracy, I think was one of the ones, um, and then uh, Primacy and Monstrosity, and it was like a trilogy. Uh, and my friend Livio Ramadelli was the artist on it, and Chris Metzen, I think, who works at, maybe works at Blizzard Games now, I think, but he co-wrote it with Flint. Um, and I had all their signatures on all of them, except for on Primacy, I didn't have Flint Dilly's uh, signature. So luckily I ran into him on my way out, he signed my book, and now my trilogy is complete with all their signatures. So, uh, you know, again, I had a great time, uh, but it's really late now. It's like one in the morning and uh, I need to go to bed. I just finished building all these Lego sets from Marvel and uh, I'm tired. I'm so, so tired and I got to work tomorrow morning. So I'm going to bid you guys adieu. Thank you so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.